juicy sausage. That's a little spice to it. Juicy sausage. That's a little spice to it. Juicy sausage. That's a little spice to it. So, our Ken went to Snow Valley in Barrie, Ontario to review the ski lodge food. And this is the reaction he's already getting. And uh, it was going to be a lot of fun to do the reaction to this because he's supposed to be there all day and he only has breakfast and lunch. He doesn't have dinner. He doesn't show us eating all of the food. And most of the footage is him snowboarding and doing a poor job of it. And the thing is, he does the whole thing by himself. Like with the footage we just offered, he is sitting there by himself eating breakfast. It's so sad. And then, uh, because he's there and there's not a lot of people around, he's setting up a, a camera with a wide-angle lens. And so what that woman is looking at is a camera that's pointed right at her. You see? see? It's like that, what she's looking at right now is a camera is pointing right at her. She's wondering, what is that guy doing? So, you know, the reaction is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm still going to do it. It's just I have to do it in two parts. Because one of my awesome subscribers, Cub, told me that you remember two years ago, January of 2018, Ken went to the same ski resort. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm like, what did I do? Uh, we are headed off to go snowboarding at Snow Valley. Ben came up with the idea. Couple I've just been wanting to go snowboarding for a long time. And he had Ben with him, and Ben wiped out and broke his collarbone. And like, I do like making these reaction videos. It's just, I do not have the time because I'm not a full-time YouTuber to go through all of the Ken Domic vlog footage. And Cub dug this up for me. And so, I'm going to do this in two parts. Because the part that has Ben... Breaking his collarbone is not funny, and what it does is expose Ken for the jerk he really is. And I couldn't do them together, so there's going to be uh, two parts. This is the first part. This is the the part where Ben gets injured, and let's just let's just get going. Let's do. It. Oh yeah, and and before I go more with this. Remember that Ben Domic, Ken's son, had his 18th birthday in October of 2017. So he is now more than 20 years of age. I am going to be showing footage of a young adult, Ben Domic, who is more than 20 years of age. So he is not some child, right? So here we go. What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? What's wrong with you? What kind of dad does that? The coolest Here's dad some. ever. If you're a child, don't fucking watch this. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm like, what did I do? Uh, we are headed off to go snowboarding at Snow Valley. Ben came up with the idea. A I've just been wanting to go snowboarding for a long time. I got denied my surfing 
when we didn't get to go to Hawaii. Yeah. And I've also just not really had just the money to go snowboarding, kind of just off and out go snowboarding as well as I never, I didn't have my G2, so I couldn't just drive myself. Right. And even though we ended up going to And so I've just been wanting to really go. And then, it, and uh, ended up not being able to go snowboarding with any of my friends. Uh, so I was like, I was gonna go by myself, and then I realized we we'll probably make a pretty good vlog. Uh, and so it will make a good vlog. And that is just it. It would make a good vlog if Ken goes snowboarding with his son Ben. So when he did it earlier this month, January 2020, he went all by himself. He eats his food by himself. He tries to shoot footage of him snowboarding by himself. It, it was all terrible. So, like, why does he go with his own son? Right now, his son is on a break from college. And Ken can say differently if he wants to. <laughs> Colleges are on break right now. And they certainly were earlier in the month when his footage was shot. So this makes sense. So why doesn't he bring Ben to do snowboarding again if he's going to go to Snow Valley Barry? It does not make sense for him to do so without his son along. Do you see it is the same place and even the same shot from the side of the car on the way in too. Well, made it to Snow Valley. We grabbed uh, some Tim Hortons first. What'd you eat, Ben? Uh, I had a crispy chicken sandwich. And I had the turkey ranch or the turkey club. That sounded like an undeclared ad. Really stood out like a sore thumb. It's like, oh, well, we had some Tim Hortons. Uh, what did you get, Ben? Oh, the spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, and I got the bacon ranch or whatever it was. It's... We know that Ken has a an official uh, relationship with Tim Hortons. So, you know, you're supposed to declare all the sponsorships. That, like, what do you think? You know, let me know in the comments. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that's just the way I feel about it. that. That looked like... Uh, an undeclared ad that was so unnatural. What did you have, Ben? Spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah, you could just a sandwich, chicken sandwich. Oh, and I had the spicy bacon or whatever it was. <coughs> I just gotta ramble. I gotta ramble over this. The whole point of this video is to show you that uh, Ben got injured and Ken totally. See, like, this is this. That's the way to do it properly. It's a two man job. You can't be the operator and the subject at the same time. And the question is, why wouldn't Ben go with his own father to do a, a proper vlog at Snow Valley? Like, Ken even said himself, like, yeah, that does make a good vlog. Yeah, it does. It does. This is the way you're supposed to do it. I mean, like, Ken went by himself. He eats by himself. He shoots the video of himself by himself. It's a real drag. So... The question is, why did Ben not come along? And I, I think it is that Ken, like an idiot, exploited Ben breaking his collarbone. And um, uh, he gave it a really uh, generic, you know, let's go viral, sexy title. Uh, let me just jump to it for a moment. There it is. Beginner snowboarder breaks collarbone. So that's like uh, sensational. You, you, you say, oh, wow, we're going to watch somebody uh, get hurt. That's the title he gave to his own son. Falling down and crying in pain after breaking a bone. It, disgusting. And by the way, Ben's going to fall right away. There, that was a small fall. Like, like <laughs> do not worry there, Ben. <laughs> Later on in the same day, your idiot father is going to... Uh, shoot footage of you having a really bad fall and then he's gonna exploit it on the internet for money beginner snowboarder breaks collarbone it's like yeah we're gonna watch somebody get hurt on youtube that is what ken was going for and maybe ben thought to himself like why do i want to do that crap again you know that, that's that's what his father did to him and he says you know no thanks right <sighs> so um yeah, I just gonna I, look, guys. It's only be a couple minutes, all right. Uh, I just wanted to ramble along to show you the flow of the first video. 
It is coming in less than two minutes, like a minute and a half. I just wanted to reiterate by running this that the footage is so much better when it's got at least two people uh, on it. And it just makes the, the video that Ken published this month, when he went there by himself, all the more ridiculous and worse than this. Footage is much better when you got two people working on it at the same time. Even when you speed up the footage like Ken just did there. Like I said guys, you know, this this isn't funny. <laughs> you know, the, the late Milton Burrow used to say when uh, a joke was bombing, um, here's another one you might not care for. And uh, he also said... Uh, while the joke was, was, was going down. Um, I know you're out there. I can hear you breathing. So, uh, we got uh, a matter of seconds away. Like, about less than 10 seconds. And then I'm going to let Ken take over. You see, this is the way the footage is supposed to be, right? This is not what Ken published earlier this month. Which just begs the question, why didn't Ben help? And, which, and the, re the answer, I think, is what's about to happen right now. Take it away, Ken Dominic. Well, it's probably a broken collarbone. Um, you know, the ski patroller guys did all the things I needed. They put oxygen on him because he started to shake. and So I said to get the car. Pick him up at the front door because he can't put his jacket back on. He just doesn't want to move. So, uh, Made it over to RVH. It's almost like last week we were here. Getting an x-ray. So, yeah, he's in a lot of pain still. And he bumped the car, hit, just drove him insane. Wow. How are you doing? Not too good because you're at the hospital, eh, stranger? <laughs> or the way Ken Domic laughs. Our Ken Domic says that this is a business. It's a business. And he does fraudulent things like making false copyright claims to shut other channels down. Yet for Ken Domic, this is a business. And you're a moneymaker because you add to the drama what's going on with his son, Ben. So thanks for being a part of it, buddy. You're not going to get a part of the action, though. The money is all for Ken. So thanks for uh, helping Ken to make some money. <laughs> Even though you don't get any of it yourself. Thanks so very much. Ben's not getting his x-ray. His, um... You can actually see his whole shoulder forward. And there's a big bump right here. And so we looked up uh, pictures of broken collarbones. X-rays of bo broken collarbones. And it shows there's a bone that goes from, I guess, the back here over to your shoulder. And it's possibly broken in half and sticking up. And that's why it's causing this bump on the side of his shoulder. So I don't know how they fix that. Whether they put it as best they can back together, depending on how badly it's broken. If it's really bad, then they might have to do surgery. If it's... Poor Ben, man. Yes, poor Ben, man. He has an idiot for a father, man. What is the matter with you, man? What are you doing, man? How dare you? Take your camera in there and shoot footage of people who are in wheelchairs in a hospital. And you use false copyright strikes to take down my channel. You ought to be banned from YouTube for what you do. You should be fined by the provincial government for what you do, walking into a hospital and shooting footage of people in a wheelchair. So you can post it on YouTube and make some money. 
whispering to yourself in a corner somewhere in a hospital, shooting video that you know you're not allowed to do. And you can, you can go back to your uh, shack in the Elf Village and upload it and make some money. Yeah, poor Ben. Like, like, any of you folks out there who are watching this, who are parents, or even if you don't have kids, would you do this to your son? Would you do this to the dignity of, of your own son suffering a broken bone? Of course not. Ben is, 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 is being exploited by his own father. And then Ken pretends like, you know, <laughs> like, oh, wow, poor Ben, man. Yes, poor Ben, man. Especially when he has an idiot for a father. Do you think that Carol would have done this to Ben? She would have just, like, let's get him to the hospital and let's get him back home. Oh, no, not Ken. Not Ken. You see, everything has to be all about Ken. It's all about him. Ah, uh, th this is just disgusting. This, this clown should not be on any platform. Uh, a little more. Starting the 2018 off with a bang. What an insufferable and cloying face you make in a hospital. The hospital is the most serious place we have in our modern civilization. And you stand there at that time, two years ago, at the age of 51 and change, making stupid faces, whispering to yourself in a corner. Mmm, he's really starting the year off with a bang. Listen, Ken, everybody has some connection to time at a hospital, only they do not shoot video of it for cheap money on YouTube. And let's not forget your s gosh darn, as I prevent myself from swearing, let's not forget your gosh darn Muskoka bearware that you take all the time. you got a deal going on with them too. I read about it on the internet. That's why you wear it all the time. For, for crying out loud, we all know that Ken Domic is not going to wear Muskoka bearware all the time unless he's getting a, not, if, if he's not getting a piece of some sort of action. So there you are in a hospital, clowning around in front of a camera, Showing off your bear wear. Oh yeah, I, I, I made another video, uh, guys, the bear wear, and uh, uh, I, I tried for some views. You didn't even get any big views from it. Yeah, that, that's what that's what cloying is, by the way. If you have, a, if you guys are not familiar with that word cloying, you remember Barney the dinosaur, right? <laughs> that's cloying. That is what the word cloying means. And that's what Ken is doing. He's he's clobbering his stupid audience over the head with what he's doing. And oh, he's sure is starting off the year with a bang here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, disgusting. Get off YouTube. Get off YouTube. Get off YouTube. Get off YouTube, please and thanks. Uh, let's get to the to the rest of the footage. And um, um, yeah. How are you feeling after the morphine shot? That is a question that Ken should have asked earlier in the hospital and any other parent would ask you know like how are you feeling after the morphine uh, you got a lot of pain there it's like uh, uh d d d d d d how, 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 how do you feel ken saves that when the camera's on and he's gonna ask the question so he has more footage to upload to make some more money by exploiting his own son keep in mind keep in mind that ben for the last several hours has been in a lot of pain and then immediately, he's filled with a lot of drugs, including morphine. He doesn't know what's going on. I think we know why Ken went to Snow Valley by himself earlier this month. Fantastic. Fantastic. It still hurts a lot, actually. Ben Not a lot, but it hurts enough that it's pretty uncomfortable. And Ben couldn't believe how long she stuck the needle in his stomach. Do you get it? That Ken is not finished exploiting his own son and his own son's pain just yet? Because he still has them for a few more minutes before they get to the car and they can go back to the house. Where I'm sure his mother, Carol, isn't going to stand for any more of this stuff. She would say, leave him alone, leave him alone. Put the camera away. Oh, uh, Ben couldn't believe how long uh, she stuck the needle in him for. That is an artificial question that Ken is, is, is asking on camera to make this whole thing seem sexier and more entertaining. Look at the look on his face. This is a sick man. Does this to his own son. And look, there's something that uh, a lot of you might be getting right now. And when I mention it uh, soon, 
the rest of you will agree with me when I, I, I note this next part that's coming, okay? So he's on morphine, he still says he's in pain, and Ken is like, oh wow, he sure left that needle in there for long. So she put one in his stomach, no, one in his arm. The reason why I was so in disbelief because when I looked at both needles, it looked like a little bit oh. in each needle. But right. the one, I guess the one Go she left. put in my stomach, like was a lot of fluid. My dad, dad said so. Yeah, they're like almost, I don't know, twenty milliliters. For the past few hours, Ben has had a fall. He's broken his collarbone. He's in a lot of pain. He goes to the hospital. That takes several hours. He's been given pain medication as soon as he gets there, and serious medication in addition to that, which includes morphine. They just gave him a morphine shot, and he's got a broken bone, and Ken is not watching him. Ken is watching his camera. Ken is walking ahead of him. He should be behind him. He should be in a wheelchair because the most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, this is January. They're covered in ice and snow. Ben is full of drugs, including morphine. He could very easily fall and break the bone all over again. And there's Ken. Doesn't put his son in a wheelchair. Doesn't put his arm around him. Doesn't watch him. Doesn't get behind him. Gets in front of him. And doesn't even look at him. That's Ken Domic. Doesn't think about a wheelchair, except for when he's shooting someone in a wheelchair to add more drama to the footage that he's creating to make more money. Doesn't even think of putting his own son in a wheelchair. It's winter. There's ice and snow everywhere. His son is full of drugs with a broken bone. And all Ken can think about is creating more footage. Ken is a first class piece of garbage. Or whatever. Uh, so the needle was almost full or over half. Yeah. And uh, I so. I didn't realize. That's why I was like, what she the hell? stuck it in, and Ben's like. Our Ken is lost in his own little world. Take a look at the look on his face as he keeps trying to uh, titillate people with the story with the needles, huh? Just look at him. Just look at him. It's like your, your son is walking behind you. You're not paying attention. He's full of drugs. He just broke a bone. He cannot have a slip and fall right now. And what are you concerned about? Creating more footage. Trying to make the footage more sexy. You're going back to those needles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just lost. In your own garbage, Ken Domic. That is what you're doing. Put your son in a wheelchair. Get him safely to the car before you indulge yourself. And telling these sexy tales about the needles at the hospital, Ken Domic, please and thanks. Usually they stick it in, squeeze them out, but because she had so much fluid to stick in. Oh well, so Ben, so ben does have... Now, Ben is out of the shot completely. Ken has got a tree in the shot. And there's a car coming in back there. Ken is not paying any attention, he's just talking to himself, trying to make that footage a little bit more sexy so he can get a few more dollars. And you know what? Ken didn't even make any money to speak of with that video. He got it with 10,000 views and that was two years ago. That's all it has. He's got the tree in the shot now, ladies and gentlemen. But where's his son? Oh, his son is like, you know, 20 paces behind him, full of morphine with a broken bone. Ice and snow everywhere. Cars driving. And Ken is just trying to make that footage a little bit more sexy to make some more money. A broken clavicle. Left side. He's got a sling. So we're lucky there's no surgery. My, my worst fear was the surgery. So your worst fear was a surgery? No, your worst fear was missing any opportunity to exploit every last minute of what happened before you went back to the shack in the elf village. From the moment that Ben fell and broke his collarbone to the moment that you're about to get to the car and go back to your residence, you have exploited every last minute of it. Right right from, from, the, the, from the walk, from the hospital to the hospital parking lot to the car before you go back to your residence. You have exploited every minute of it. Great job. You cheap piece of garbage. 
I don't know what to say. I gotta. I, I could swear. I don't want. I don't want to swear. I don't want to be like Ken Dom. I could swear all the time. You know, I, I don't even have to say anything. Just look at. Just look at him. Oh boy, I, I I exploited every last minute of this. I turned it all into footage. And remember, remember, at this time, Ben is 18 years of age in January of 2018. So he's becoming a young man. And young man or a middle-aged man. He had a bad day. He had a painful break on his collarbone. And he's full of drugs. He's tired. He's exhausted. He's more than tired. He's exhausted and he's full of drugs, including morphine. So he doesn't know what's going on. You know, he can't, like, have any time to form some opinions on what is happening. Why do you think uh, Ken goes to the ski lodge by himself this year, 2020? And makes a stupid video all by himself. He eats alone. He does his snowboarding alone. And he tries to, to record video all by himself and produces a really lousy piece of work which will come after this this is part one huh and i told you guys that this video was not going to be funny there's nothing to laugh at when somebody uh, has a f accident and breaks a bone is in pain that is not funny that is not somebody that you guys would shoot video of and try to make money of and you know after ken didn't make any money to speak of because it only got like around ten thousand views it got less than ten thousand views you should take the video down does he have any respect for his son's dignity? No, he does not. Let's let 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 this video is almost all right. It's like I said, it's not. It, it, let's let's get this let's get this one done. Well, that includes our. Do you guys remember the laugh that Ken did when he was laughing at the person going in the ambulance? It was like. There's a fire truck that went down that road with an ambulance. Somebody's in a medical need at the Nutrition Plus place. Go figure. There's no ambulance in front of Smokes Poutine, but there's an ambulance in front of the Nutrition Plus Community Health Market. <laughs> They're dragging a body out of there. <laughs> and he just did it at his own son. Like, that's somebody who's in pain, who's on morphine. He just wants to get back to the house and rest. And like, you turn it your like he's he's looking away, and so you know Ken gives us his footage to use, and, and he's trying to look at his own son while shooting everything, and it looks at the, the the horrible day he had, and he's laughing at him. That's why Ken is a sociopath. Even his own son, it's like well, <laughs> adventure day for today so uh thanks everybody for it was funny because i was while well, well, ben was wincing in pain do not even have to say anything just take a moment and look at him smiling at the idea of someone else wincing in pain I was reading all the comments on Facebook and Instagram saying, stay safe, stay warm. And you guys basically cursed them. It's basically cursed them. It's basically cursed them. It's basically cursed them. Ken Domic exploited his own son's suffering for a clickbaity title on a cheap attempt to go viral. Beginner snowboarder breaks collarbone. Please imagine Ken Domic sitting there and typing in those words. That'll get the people. That'll get me some money. Beginner snowboarder breaks collarbone. And the people will say, let's play this because we're going to watch someone get hurt. Get on the play button. Let's get this. Lots of views and lots of money for Ken Domic because he doesn't have a real job and no ambition to do anything. When he sees his son fall down and break a bone, hey, exploit the whole day and post it on YouTube. More than two years later, beginner snowboarder breaks collarbone has not even inspired the audience for Ken's vlog. 
to watch it. Don't be sad, cause two out of three ain't bad. Two out of three didn't even bother. More than two years later, that video got less than 9,000 views. How do you think Ben felt after the pain medication wore off and his therapy for his broken bone was completed? Have you ever had a broken bone or know someone who has? What do you think Ben assessed the situation as sometime after he fully recovered from this and looked back? Do you think he would want to go skiing with his father again? Knowing how Ken is and how Ken insists on shooting video of everything. And if you go anywhere and do anything with Ken, he's going to shoot video of everything all the time and post all of it all over YouTube trying to make a buck. You would think that after more than two years, Ken Dominic would look at the number of views and say, Well, it looks like I earned my $20 out of this. I think I should take it down. Why would he? Why would he care about his son's dignity? Go ahead, exploit it. Maybe you can make another 10 cents out of it, Ken Domic. Keep exploiting it. You're a real classy person. We would expect that after Ben had some time to look back at what happened, he was interested in attending Snow Valley with his father for another episode of this. It was your guy's fault. <laughs> business. This is a business. This is a business. Ken and Ben food reviews coming by. Uh, probably not. Ben's not really keen on it anymore, so.